Hello everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. I'm going to model this handrail today in SOLIDWORKS. To start off, open up new part file and begin sketching. All the dimensions are centerline dimensions as per in the drawing. Let's select front plane and go to sketch mode. Select rectangle tool and draw a rectangle add few dimensions make this 3000 and make height 900 millimeter exit the command select fillet command and pick this point and make fillet radius 100 millimeters and click ok Let's add horizontal and vertical lines. Select line command. Make one horizontal. And two more vertical lines. Let's add few more dimensions. Thousand between these two lines and again the same dimension between these two lines i will select the same command same dimensions and click ok and select this line and this line and uh, we don't have to add that line since we the sketch is fully defined now the sketch is completed exit the command press ctrl 7 let's convert this sketch to a 3d model i am going to use weltman features to create the 3d model you cannot find weltman command under feature command manager you have to go to weltman command manager to find the weltman command if weltman command manager is not visible you can always right click on one uh, tab of command manager and check or uncheck the weldman you can always check it to get the weldman commands now we are in the weldman command manager i'm going to use structural member command to complete the project select structural member command now we are in the structural member property manager you have to select standard type and the size the size of this pipe is 1 inch and 1.5 millimeter wall thickness. So we have few uh, standard. You can select ISO standard and select the pipe and then select the size. The size is not there. You can go to a matrix and select pipe and go for the size. So the size is actually not there. So I have I have created custom profiles to for this project. And if you are unsure how to create custom profiles, watch my other video. So this is the custom standard I created and the type that I created. So the size is one inch by 1.2 mil 1.5 millimeter tube. Now let's select the sketch. So I will select this horizontal line first and the pipe is added. If you zoom in, you can see the center of the circle is aligned with the sketch. So that's what we want. So try to select another line. It really doesn't select the line. We need to create another group. Usually we cannot add this vertical line to the same group under group 1 because the profile is in another orientation so go to select group 2 and select both these vertical lines those two lines can be added to the same group since they are in the same orientation so we cannot add the third one so we have to select new group and select all three lines 
now the everything looks good as per the drawing and click ok press ctrl 7 there is one more thing before we actually complete the project have a look at the cut list cut list it is created in feature manager design tree so this is the you can have a look at the cut list the cut list show you how the part is created so we can see one horizontal line pipe and uh, two pieces of vertical and another two pieces of vertical and this is one straight one continuous pipe if you are not happy with this cut list you can always change it usually we need to have one continuous vertical leg rather than two pieces and we can have three pieces of horizontal segments so this is how we can do that click on this come up icon and go to edit now we can always change the trimming order and at each point so click on this point you can see the group one group one is the horizontal line it is the trim order one and the group two is the vertical line it is trim, trim order two so this is priority one this is priority two so we just need to change these numbers so swap these numbers so go to group one i will make the trim order the second and go to group two i will make it one so so the trim order two is priority number one and trim order group two is priority number one and group one is priority number two so then click ok and now you can see this is the vertical tube is continuous and this is two pieces do the same thing to the other point as well click on this point change this order number to two and change group one to one and click ok and click ok now have a look so you if you click on this pipe you can see it is continuous so if you have a look at the cut list this is one piece this is vertical two pieces and this is one single piece and another two pieces press ctrl 7 now let's add material right click on material go to edit material and select 316 stainless steel apply and close now the material is applied click on this icon to hide the sketch and save the part let's save this as handrail that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial if you want to see how the full assembly is created you can watch my other video under smart component please like comment and subscribe thank you for watching